Two clear and distinct factions have formed in the economy in 2020. We are witnessing some pieces rising higher, stronger, and better than ever before. Others are dealing with serious, overwhelming problems. Look at the financial system. It is nearly caving under the weight of the incredible debt load. But certain stocks have performed incredibly well. Within the job situation, some are simply business as usual. Others don't have food to put on the table. The disparity is unlikely anything we've ever seen. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. This is going to be a hard one for me to get into. The first few articles are difficult, no doubt. I want to bring to you what's been happening with the lack of food. People are literally starving today, and we've always had that. Any country is going to have a problem where there are some people who are facing poverty, but the amount of people who have food insecurity, particularly with the younger ones, oh my goodness, it is just it's difficult to read the stats anyway i want to show you it because it's real because it is the truth i'll try to just move through it as quick as i can and try not to stutter through it but anyway i'll get to that i want to tell you what's happening with the job situation there's a lot going on more banks are laying people off as we expected there's of course this question will there be stimulus oh my goodness okay so yesterday there was no more stimulus that's it it's over it's over no more stimulus Shalom, shalom. This is your brother Malachi coming at you with another lesson. But first and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakar Kadash. In an ancient Hebrew tongue, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His begotten Son, our Savior, Yahweh Shai. Also, I want to give double honors to the apostles of GMS and the like men on the highways and byways, teaching the like doctrine, putting up videos diligently throughout the week, feeding the sheep. Shalom to you. So this is just going to be another update on the uh, economic collapse of America, okay? Or also known in the scriptures as Mystery Babylon, okay? And actually, I want to start out in Isaiah. We're going to go to Isaiah 47. And actually start at the top. It says, uh, Isaiah 47 and 1, come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. And see, when it says virgin daughter of Babylon, that's a clear indication that the Lord is speaking about America. Why? Because the virgin daughter, meaning no one has entered this nation. America has never been... Uh, hit with nuclear missiles or had an attack on its homeland. Now, some of you may say 9-11, uh, uh, 2001. No, that was actually carried out by your own government, okay, to oppress the people here more, okay? But America has never had another nation attack it, okay? So no one has never entered America, making her a virgin, daughter of Babylon. She's the daughter of Babylon because Babel means confused. Lan means land. It's a confused land. Men can be with men, women with women. You can be with, you can marry, uh, you can marry yourself. You can marry a tree. You can marry an animal. You can marry your, uh, your kids if you want. Okay. You got people marrying their cousins. Okay. This is a, this is a confused land. That's why the, this nation is crumbling. But it says sit on the ground. There is no throne. So there's no throne for America anymore. There's no exalting of, of America. No nations are praising America anymore. Now they're coming out of the shadows. Okay, now they're beating their own chest. All the nations are basically saying, look, we got uh, uh, we can lead the world in X, Y and Z, you know. And I'm talking about your major players here. I'm talking about your China, Russia, okay, uh, uh, Japan, North Korea, Ara Iran. These are the nations that are now like, look, man, we we we're not following America's orders. You bullied us, okay, all these years. America has a uh, 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 military bases set up throughout all the lands of the world, man. Meaning they occupy so many different nations. 
You think those nations want America there? No. So now the Lord is putting a spear for America to get its just due. It says, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. And that's how America was looked at as tender and delicate. As the model or, or, or the uh, uh, as the as the as the model for for what the world should be like. OK, all the nations uh, molded themselves after America with, quote unquote, freedom. I'm going to jump down to verse three. It says, thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yeah, thy shame shall be seen. And that shame is now being seen. America's being shown as this huge hypocritical nation that's catered to people who are just damn demons, man. And I'm talking about you so-called white people. You have a whole society that's set up to oppress Everyone else except yourself to make sure that everyone else is uh, never on the same level playing field as you. And I'm talking about you so-called blacks, Latinos and Native Americans. You're the ones oppressed. You're the ones who are never on that level playing field. And if you are on that level playing field, guess what? Now you got to think like them. Now you got to act like them. Now you got to make sure that you're putting uh, uh, you're exalting their kingdom, their ideology. So you're not doing nothing for the, for your for the Lord, for your nation. OK. So the Lord is now showing this world, everybody, the shame of Babylon, man. It says, I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. So Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, our savior, Yahweh Shai, he's not coming back as a man. He's coming back as a power. He's coming back with that spiritual, uh, uh, his spiritual uh, powers, man. He's coming back with so-called UFOs. He's coming back with angels, okay? That was the whole purpose of him uh, 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 literally, come on now, think about this. Let's, let, let's be logical here. If you sat here and you had the, your, literally your father was the, the creator of the heavens and earth. He gave you power to do whatever you wanted. But he told you not this time. Just wait a little bit. I need you to have patience. So you said, OK, cool. I'm going to have patience. Knowing your people, they hated the doctrine that you was pushing when all you was telling them was uh, 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 the good news about themselves repenting. OK, how to be on the planet. And they hated you. Now, you could have destroyed them. You could have been uh, uh, the scriptures say that the Lord, he could have been sent angels when the Romans were trying to persecute uh, Yahweh Shai and our people were mocking him. The Lord could have been put all this to an end and said, F it, man. Nobody getting saved. But he showed us love. He showed us mercy and actually gave us a blueprint of how to live and how to uh, behave being here, showing love to your brothers, your nation. Having patience to, to wait upon you, how But he's not coming back in that in that spirit, man. He did before. That's why he's coming back mad because you had a chance, man. We all had a chance to repent. We all had grace. Some of us just used it for, for, for our own gain. Oh, it's cool. I'm going to sin. It's okay. He died. He, you know, he died for our sins. It's all right. It's cool. It's, just keep doing it. Now you're living in iniquity because you just, com you just keep committing sin after sin after sin. So now, you, you know, you're, you're completely shut off from Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Now, when the time's to come, martial law and all these things, these things, you know, uh, you're not going to have that spirit on you, man. But this is why uh, uh, America is now about to be brought low in Salakia family. I kind of went off there, but Lord's will, it was, you know, edifying with what I'm saying, but. The Lord is not coming back in this spirit of, of love, man, not for the world. He never was for the world. He was only for the nation of Israel. You so-called blacks, Latinos and Native Americans and the confusion of face. The confusion of face are those who look like so-called whites or so-called Japanese or so-called uh, um, Arabs. But their spirit, OK, they can receive this knowledge. They, they may have a spirit of an Israelite, okay, 
Why? Because the, through all our captivities, we started uh, having our, our, our forefathers started having sex with the heathen. So we kind of uh, intermingled. So that's why you have to deal with people in the spirit. If they can receive. Salakia family, my uh, recording cut off. But <clears throat> if, if you know, if the Israelite foreigners, if they can, you, you, you know, they're a part of our nation because they can receive this knowledge. OK, not everyone on this planet can receive this. The heathen aren't going to receive this. OK, because it's against their world. OK. But what I was saying was um, uh, uh, this nation is being brought down. And an example of that is all the um, all of the closings of uh, uh, the store closures. You got Regal Cinemas. They're shutting down their whole U.S. operations. OK. Um, who was it? Someone just filed for bankruptcy. I want to say Ruby Tuesdays just filed for bankruptcy. Um, I think it's American Airlines just let go 28,000 workers. OK, so you're seeing America crumble fast. Now, you so-called blacks, Latinos and Native Americans, you don't want to get caught into what's about to happen because you're going to when people go hungry, when the famine starts to really hit which now articles are starting to say that that's coming now, okay? You're going to have uh, uh, people invading one another, people killing one another, raping women, raping children, raping each other, okay, men. You're going to have a lot of death and destruction out here. You're going to have race wars going on uh, during that. You've got Trump saying he's not leaving office if Biden wins. You've got militia groups saying that it doesn't matter. There's going to be race wars and there's going to be civil war regardless. The, U, the top U.S. general said that he's not removing Trump if Trump loses. He's not getting in the middle of that. We have to prepare ourselves for the complete collapse of America, of Babylon, because she's falling fast. We do not want to get caught into the being in the spirit of of. of uh, continuing to exalt this nation, but you also don't want to be in the spirit of revolution and black lives matter. And it, no, we wait upon our father. We wait upon our savior, Yahweh. That's his determination. That's why he told us to have patience, long suffering, meekness, gentleness, love one another. He basically told us to build each other up until he comes. That's why he said the kingdom is within you. These people are about to they're, they're about to be so afraid because their world and everything that they thought was real and was going to last forever is going to come to nothing. But they're not going to understand how in the hell are these so-called blacks, Latinos and Native Americans over here got their heads up high. OK, they're praising their God. They got food. They got protection. But all around them is going everything going to be crumble, uh, uh, crumbling, man. This is why you want to make sure you're in the right spirit. Babylon is falling, as the video, uh, uh, the brother, in the, the guy in the video just said. He was uh, he's showing you that this is an economic collapse that now everyone's talking about. OK, at first it was a thing to try to cover it up. Now you got the, the top economists, uh, uh, economists, they're coming out and they're saying it. Famines are coming. And actually, they said in one uh, one in five people in America don't have enough money to make it past the uh, November 3rd, man. One in five Americans. So go ahead and line up five Americans. Right now you ask them, hey, what you, what, you know, what you got in your bank account? See what they say. Money ain't going to save us. Guns ain't going to save us. It's believing and having faith on Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. That's going to save us. It's loving your brothers. That's what's going to save us. Being gentle, having a, a spirit of love, having the spirit of joy, being a peacemaker. That's what's going to save us. Isaiah 47 and 3, thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yeah, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. The Lord is not coming back 
in this spirit of meekness. OK, he wants his people to be in that spirit because he wants us to be building right now. He wants us to be nurturing and loving each, uh, uh, one another. OK. But this nation, the Lord is about to send heavy indignation upon it, man. Luke six and twenty five. Woe unto you that are full for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now for ye shall mourn and weep. So everything is about to flip. The society of people that, that that's basically been in control, they're about to mourn. OK. They're about to weep. How we've been living on a dollar our whole life. OK. And had to uh, make ends meet. They're now moving into that spirit. The difference is, is they were never set up to go through what they're about to go through. That's why they're going to be so pissed. And that's why they're going to self-destruct, man. Revelation 18 and 2. And he cried mightily with a strong voice saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, is, and has become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and cage of every unclean and hateful bird. That's what this place is now. America is nothing but a demonic realm. Everything here that's promoted is evil. It's wicked. You watch videos, you watch, that's fucking, that's porn now, man. Hip hop videos. I'm like, God damn. They don't leave nothing to the imagination no more. People still, bro, people are still, yeah, yeah, you still got people twerking out here. Women still twerking, bro. They was doing that back when I was in high school, man. You think this shit is, like, come on. Millions upon millions without jobs, millions of jobs, the whole, literally the restaurant sector is now gone. Your retail sector is now gone. So you're going to have to, uh, you're going to have a, a, a millions of people that's going to have to relearn just to make ends meet in this quote unquote new world. But y'all want to sit up here and talk about fucking Cardi B? Donald Trump telling you, look, it's about to be a civil war. He telling you that when that when they get that um, uh, that vaccine, it's going to be mandatory and it's going to be handed out by the military. Now, I don't know about you, but if the military is being used, that mean that, that that shit, that's some forceful. That's that's force, man. You could have said, OK, it'll be used by the local doctors or, or you know, a damn local uh, National Guard or something. No, he said the military. But you, but, but, but you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, you want to continue to sit up here and play, man. This is not our rest. Micah 2 and 10 tells us that. This is not your rest, for it is polluted. You like sitting in trash? You like sitting in shit? I ain't think so. So therefore, why are you going to sit and subscribe to these ideas of this country, man? When this damn country uh, crumbling. Okay, we know we have to work. We have to provide. Cool. But we're not sitting up here talking about, man, I'm going to get this mansion. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Bro, Lord's will, this place crumbles by the end of this year, man. Hope this shit crumble tomorrow, yesterday, man. Revelation 18 and 6, and I'm going uh, to read actually to verse 11. It says, Re reward her as she rewarded you. So everything that they did unto us, do unto them. When Yahweh Shai gives us the green light, not now, but we'll know because he's going to put a spirit upon the nation, the remnant who he wants to uh, 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 act out these actions upon uh, the heathen. OK, so don't take it into your own hands when I read this and say, all right, cool, I'm going to get some guns and I'm going to no. The Lord, he wants us to wait upon him. But it says, reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her, double according to her works in the cup which she have filled, filled to her double. That's that reward, that double reward. How my last video, how they got that brother, that Israelite man, that homeless guy who was just literally he's homeless. And he, he didn't do anything, but they want to put a, a rope around him. And carry him down the street while they on two horses. They got to pay for that. 
When they sold our or literally fed our kids to alligators, when they hung us on trees and had fucking picnics while, while doing so, taking pictures like it's nothing, they got to pay for that. How much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. For she have said in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. That's the spirit that this nation has always been in. That's that pride. Nigga, this is America. America can't crumble. America ain't in no Bible. America, this, what? This is the best nation ever. There's never been a nation. There's never been a kingdom like America. This is the spirit of Babylon. It says, therefore, shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burnt with fire. For strong is the Lord Yahweh who judgeth her. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. So the kings, all the kings. Russia, China, all their uh, 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 their leaders, they're all going to mourn after America. You know why? Because it's finally going to click with them like, damn, if America's done, that means we're done too. They have all gained their enterprise. They've all built their enterprise up off, uh, off of America, which is ultimately off the backs of you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans during the transatlantic slave trade. The first, uh, uh, the first thing that was traded on the stock market was slaves. You started this economy. Why do you think in 2020 everything is catered and literally uh, marketed towards you? You can't watch a commercial now without it being a Jake in it. Ten years ago, that wasn't the case, man. You had the typical white, you know, the eat of my family on TV. Everybody smiling. <laughs> Now is now is Jake. <laughs> you are the world. It was created for you. Everybody knows who y'all are except you. That's why you're you're literally fighting an invisible war, bro. How you how in the hell are you thinking you're gonna fight a war, but you don't know who you're fighting after, who the enemy is? You looking at your enemy talking about something we equal. When your creator said that's not even the case. Revelations 8 and 10. It says standing afar off for the fear of her torment saying, alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city for in one hour is thy judgment come. The Lord is sending judgment fast. It's not going to take America 10 years to just uh, be, be, be known a, a, a third world country. No, 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 no. This is happening fast. Millions without jobs. Whole sectors, retail sector, restaurant sector, gone. Homelessness is now increased. Banks are failing. You've got Japan now rolling out their own digital currency. And the other nations are joining it. Why? Because they're now devaluing the dollar. There's about to be a whole new economic system. And if you're not under the protection of Yahweh, while Yahweh shy, you're going to get caught into getting that mark of the beast chip, the RFID chip, which goes into the new economic system. Sweden is now getting their citizens chipped because they said that cash is too dirty. You're not in the time of mirth. Mirth means joy. We're not in the time to be laughing in the sense of having a fun time in America. Planning for vacations. If this year was any indication, we all should be repenting and coming back to the Father. We all should be treating each other. And I'm talking about when I say all, I'm talking about our nation. 
We should be treating each other with respect, love, and trying to lift and exalt one another, man. It says, and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. America's not about to have anything coming in or anything going out. No imports, no exports, no one buying anything, no one selling anything. The merchants are going to be crying. Why? Because this is how they made their money. All these CEOs and all these people that think they got uh, uh, their money is tied up in assets. But when this whole economic system is rolled out and on that screen, it says you're a, a billionaire because of a fucking a computer screen is telling you so. What happens when that system crumbles? Now, your Elon Musk, your Bill Gates, your, 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 your George Soros, all, they're going to be on the same level as everybody else. That's why it's not going to matter. That's why the only thing that's going to get us, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, and those of you uh, who are confusion of face that can receive this in the spirit, the only thing that's going to get us out of this is coming back to our power. Calling upon the name of Yahweh, Wah, Yahweh Shai. There's nothing, nothing in this in this physical realm that is going to get us out of this. You are in a spiritual battle. That's why the Lord said that we fight not against flesh and blood, but against powers, against principalities in high places. So I pray that this lesson was edifying. Call Halal Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakar Kadash. Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai. Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai. Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai. Wa Abad Babal. This is your brother Malachi, signing off. Shalom, Yashar Allah.